His heart went nuts before he got stuck in that storage cell and chugged a ton of martini. So yesterday I went to Lowe's and purchased these two plants and I should have I should have filmed myself digging the holes because this is like very very hard ground extremely and it took me like two hours two and a half hours probably to, to dig these two little holes but I'm going to put them in the ground now hopefully this flower will be okay here because I think it's really peachy I can't start the camera at all with the glove on so that's annoying <laughs> Oh well. So I thought these uh, would look really good here by my jasmine plant. And uh, yeah, so let's get this guy in the ground. Oh, I wonder if I'm going to need to cut this though. No. It's going to come out super easy. Massage the roots. Loosen them up. And yeah, I think that's beautiful. Lovely. This is like clump root dirt I've got to fill it in with, but I had to like flood these holes to dig it because the dirt here is so um, hard and clay. Look at what I have here. Very chunky, chunky stuff. So let's see how well fill this in at all. pretty right here. I love it. So this is a, um, how do you say that, y'all? Codeum. Codeum? It's a croton. I've seen these a lot, but I never knew the name for them. So, there's that one in and looking really, really happy. And then all of this blooms out with jasmine, jas jasmine. <laughs> Every spring it just fills up with white flowers and it's gorgeous. So this other one is gonna go in right here. What if it wasn't suicide? What if it was an escape plan drinking up methanol? Oh no. That bloom just fell right off. I think I think that's how they do though. So let's see what's the tag for this one. Wrapped around this delicate bloom, unfortunately. It's, yeah, it's a hibiscus. Oh gosh, this is gonna do really well here. 
and I absolutely love hibiscus so much. It'll bring butterflies and bees and all kinds of good stuff. The birds love it too. This guy probably need a little more massaging. What a good price I got on this. $23. Lots of happy roots. I'm just gonna rough it up in there. <sighs> so I haven't put nearly anything here in my garden in the ground simply because it's so hard to do very difficult with um, you know I mean look at this it's still solid holy crap I just like it's a freaking tennis ball So, best laid plants, hopefully these will take root really well and be happy, be real happy here. So I'll water them. I need to get myself a, a thing for this. I don't know how that ended up getting left at my ex's house because I know I had one or maybe it was his and I just used his while I was gardening there and never ended up buying one but this is fine for now I really love this plant I love yellows and oranges in uh, foliage so really happy with that it like won't reach because this hose won't extend I don't want it on full water. God damn it. Okay, now the hose will like open up more and get longer. It's still doing the same thing. That's so annoying. I want a different hose for back here. It's gonna be a happy plant. There's already like two two little buds ready to come out and I'm really happy to watch them bloom here when I come out here and uh, have my coffee in the morning. Beautiful little bud. Where's the other one? Right here. Oh, it's going to be so pretty. I really love the different colors of the leaves. How it goes from a deep green to purple and how that's going to look in the spring with all the jasmine. Yes, I'm happy with this. That's great. I'll show you guys how this all looks at night with the torches lit and my new little lamp here. By the way, this product works really well. I haven't had one mosquito in my yard and I only used the product one time. I sprayed down everything and boom, no more bugs. Very happy with that. So yeah, I'll show you guys at night later on. <laughs> have you done the CT? Yeah, I yeah. have. The contract? She's done everything she needs to do except tell her patient she's dying. I, I told you. Only I did. hurricane lamp from Lowe's and I can put the citronella stuff in there it's just a lovely evening it's really nice to sit out here huh. 
There's another torch uh, right there, but I need to refill it. I'll do that right now. It's quite the flame now. <laughs> like lights up this whole area really nicely and then I have these solar lights as well so that is my little gardening outdoor vlog I really love sitting out here and enjoying uh, this little space it's really nice and my boyfriend's inside watching house <laughs> But um, we've been watching, like, we've been, like, re-watching all the seasons and stuff. We're on season two now. And yeah, these are, like, burning super bright. Like, crazy. So I'll have to keep an eye on them for sure. Uh, I like sitting out here and having a little relaxing smoke. Looking up at the sky. Enjoying the sounds. I love having the fountain. <coughs> it's wonderful. So I used to sit out here and drink, but I quit drinking in January. So I am six months sober on the 22nd of this month, actually. So anyone out there who is also choosing to like give something up during quarantine like hats off to you because it's super hard gotta say there's like a bunch of times when i've just been like ugh, be so nice to just have a drink right now but you know not gonna do it and i haven't and i feel really proud about that i have had some using dreams and like drinking in my sleep <laughs> but luckily that isn't something that I actually did, you know? I just dreamt about it, so it's okay. I'm not gonna beat myself up for that. <laughs> so if you guys have any, um, anything that you're struggling with right now, go ahead and drop it in the comments and I'll be, uh, I'll be sure to send you some good vibes on that matter and just so you have, you know, your uh, your vibes out there and everything. Your energy is out there and other people can attend to that as well. I'm a firm believer that if you, uh, if you ask for it and if you deserve it, you'll, you'll get it. I really hope that, you know. I don't know, I'm fucking high. I'm rambling now. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I just hope you're well. I hope you're doing great. A really great day putting these plants in the ground and it feels great to um, make this little spot of land a better place even though I don't own it and the landlord won't sell it I don't think I'd buy here anyway but yeah I love y'all I hope you have a great night Mwah.